the foundation of the story was a friendship, not a friendship that I had because I was never his friend. He was a boy much older than I was. I was nine years old, 10 years old, and I wanted to be his friend. It was just for fun, but by page 30, I knew that there was something going on. And I kind of took this from my childhood and brought it into Italy, which my childhood was in Egypt, so this was a big transposition. I made myself a bit older than nine, and I was 17, and then it went where it had to go. The book is published, it gets very, very well reviewed. You know, about six months later, nobody talks about it. But people, word of mouth, people buy it, okay? It's big in the gay community. And it never goes out of print, that's okay, that's what I expected. That's more than what I expected. Then 10 years later, a movie comes out, and then, and then the next thing I know, it's a big success. And uh, I think even the director is surprised. The actors are surprised, everybody's surprised. It's a wonderful thing. Um, now, do I rejoice in it? I don't know how to do that, you know. Um, I'm too insecure a human being to, to take myself too, too, too seriously, so. Uh, I'm more worried about the next book. I've lived as the only Jewish boy in an all-Muslim school. So I know what intolerance smells like, feels like, how it's abuse, what are the abuses of intolerance, and what are the facts about intolerance that are open. In other words, people who are intolerant are sort of openly intolerant. They're not just secretively intolerant. Um, and I hate all this. I've always hated it. I've hated any form of injustice. Um, one of the things that I think my book can do, and my film can do, that's the only thing I have control over, is if you are a kid and you are gay and you want to tell your parents, feel free to do so. Do it. Say it to them. And if you are a parent, please help them say it. And if you don't know how to do it, look at the film read the book. Uh, on the street it's another thing and I don't know the street but the home is where one should feel secure and a father who does not accept a son who's gay what kind of a father is that? And a mother who doesn't uh, what is this? What, why, did you, why are you a father? There's a lot of pressure on me to write a sequel so I'm trying to resist the pressure. I have never written a script before so I'm not quite familiar with the, the craft some people tell me it's very easy. Some people tell me it's very difficult. I, you know, another book, I'm toying with the idea, but I don't want to be seduced by it. If there is a sequel, I want to be involved in it, obviously. I, I love the story, I love the movie. Uh, I love Luca, he's, I think he's a wonderful person. And the actors are fantastic. They're also wonderful people. Okay, so everybody's very talented and very eager. Um, when will it happen? Where is the money? Where is everything going to... These are facts that I have no control over. I am very moved by people, the response of people, because people write to me all the time and I can no longer write back, which I feel very badly because that's a whole new job, writing back to people who basically pour forth their whole lives. And so if I have anything to say, it's I'm grateful to everybody who has taken, you know, an hour to type an email to me and tell me about their lives. Uh, I, I, I feel very moved by that and grateful. God, I'm still alive and the book is doing well. I'm a lucky man.